In this video on C Sharp Basics, we're going to be talking about Visual Studio Windows and navigation. First, we're going to take a look at the code window. And the code window has several different drop downs for navigating in your code. Then we're going to take a look at the output window, followed by the Solution Explorer. And inside the Solution Explorer, we'll see that we have our solution open with different projects inside of our solution. And within each project, we'll see properties, references, and currently we can see an app.config file and a program.cs file. Finally, we'll take a look at the properties window. Here we have the main window that appears when you first open a project in Visual Studio 2015. In the center of our screen is our code window. Below that, we can see our output window. In the upper right hand corner, we can see our solution explorer. And then finally, in the bottom right hand corner, we can see our properties window. If you look at the top of the code window, you can see three different drop downs that allow you to navigate to different sections of the file that you currently have open in the code window. The first drop down on the left allows you to navigate to different projects that this file might belong to. The middle drop down allows you to navigate to different classes that are in this same file. And then finally, the right hand drop down box allows you to navigate to different properties and methods on your classes. Down here in our output window, we can see that there is already some information about a file that was not able to be opened by Visual Studio. This is a very small and insignificant error, but it does demonstrate that Visual Studio will produce some information here in this output screen. In the upper right hand corner is our solution explorer. And you can see if I select the solution here at the top level, we also get information about that item here in our properties window below the solution explorer. Again, if I select the basic course project, we see some information and properties about the project. If I navigate to the properties or references or app.config file or program.cs file, you can see different information changes here in the properties window based upon the selection that we have in our solution explorer. If I simply click once on the program.cs file, it will open the file, but you can see the tab appears on the right hand side. To fully open the file and try to edit it, go ahead and double click on the file. And now you can see the tab has moved to the left side, indicating that we have this file open for editing.